Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor that you can download for free. If you want to learn where to download it and how you can use it, then click on the link above. In this video we're going to be looking at how we can join circles together tangentially. I'll look at the two examples. We've got this one where the strokes intersect and merge, and the blue example we've got the strokes just touching. Both of them, if you click on the circle twice, we can rotate around the first circle. So to get started I'm just going to draw a circle. So we grab our ellipse tool, hold down control to constrain the shape of the circle, drag out a perfect circle. If we use control D we can duplicate that circle. Uh, we get our select tool. If you want to shrink one of the circles but keep the stroke the same size, if we go up to the top here um, we can turn off the scale stroke with uh, scaling of the object. So now if we hold down control we can scale this circle and when we release the stroke will pop back to the original width. So now we've got our two circles we need to be able to snap them together. To do this I'm going to come over to our snapping menu. I'm going to enable snapping. In the first section I'm going to enable snapping boundary boxes and I want snapping to midpoints. And I want to go down to the bottom section, enable that, and we want snapping centers and snapping rotational centers enabled. So now when we grab our circle, we should better snap them together on the midpoints. So we have a they're tangentially joined. Now if we click again on the top circle, this brings up our rotation handles and our rotational center. So if we grab hold of our rotational center, we can snap it to the midpoint of the first circle. So now when we rotate it, it should rotate neatly around our circle. If we wanted it so the strokes um, intersect or merge, then what we want to do, if we take that away for a second, hold down shift and press the X in the corner, select the other one, hold down shift, Press X to get rid of the stroke. Now when we snap them together, it's the paths that are snapping together and not the strokes. So now if we re-enable, so I hold down Shift, give it a stroke, click on our second one, hold down Shift, and draw the stroke back on there. We also need to reposition our rotational center. So we'll take that away, snap it back to the midpoint, and now we can rotate our second circle around the first and our strokes emerged. Hope that's been helpful. I'll see you in the next video.